Hi, good evening. Uh, hi, good evening. Everybody else from uh, all over the world, especially the 16 scale collectors. For tonight's show, episode 40 of Figure Talk is about 16 scale figures. I think this figures uh, many people is already is waiting for a long time. Yeah, actually, we, we we understand that you know, two company has been acquired the license for 300, but, but only one company can release the products. Yeah, Star Ace. This is the only one company can release the product. The second one called ACI Toys, yeah? They get the license, they make the flow type, so finally, um, yeah, the license expires and yeah, um, yeah, I, I, this, this episode I'm not representing ACI to talk about the reasons, but maybe next time if you guys want to know the reasons, I'll let you know. Uh, if this video's rating is over 10,000, not 1,000, 10,000 times, I'll let you know what is the reasons behind why ACI cannot release the 300 figures you know they already have the prototypes uh, the spray but anyway yeah go back to you know go back to my one of the job is to do the figure talk host and to be fair and to be to be uh, uh, you know professionals I, I, I have to I have to introduce another brand Star Ace okay this is the first time Star Ace products go into figure talk program um, I cannot remember if if they are already in the toys TV show, but I think probably, 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 probably the the first time even in toys TV on figure talk shows. But these figures is a long awaiting figures. You know, uh, after Hot Toys released the three hundreds, uh, oh three hundreds, yeah, 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 the heroes of the first three hundreds. I forgot the name. Oh, Leonardo's, uh, Leonardo's, yeah, King Leonidas. King Leonidas and people say that ah, this is a you know typical classic and um, the best figures ever uh, released for you know a ancient Greek Greek uh, heroes or generals so the people keep waiting but you know after that no no other licensed Greek general is coming up uh, so this would be the, the third one because free uh, size already released their Leonidas the version uh, maybe one years ago. So this is the second episode of the movies 300 Rise of an Empire. You know, it's a Warner Brothers movies, Rise of an Empire. But the main character for this second episode is is already changed from Leonidas to Themistocles. Themistocles, yeah. I already checked the pronunciation of this, you know, a, a Greek or, or, or other name. So uh, he is, uh, he was a famous, famous naval general of Athens, as an Avenian, and uh, so he he's got a name, Themistocles. Yeah, try to pronounce it again. You know, when you want to overcome some difficulties, when you want to overcome some, you know, your shortcomings or weaknesses, you should face it and try to do more. So that was I I have been doing for you know many many years. So forgive me if you think my pronunciation of this name. That is totally is, is wrong. Sorry, but I try my best. Anyway, this is the packaging of this Rise of an Empire's 300 figures. You know, um, they choose a, a basic, basic uh, gesture and pose of this figure is you know a shouting or or yelling yelling has uh, But it's, 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 it's it could be a good choice, you know, because you know if the figures have no. No emotional uh, expressions on his face. It looks real, real like that. Yeah. So, but this one is different. Okay. So let's see the packaging. Yeah, I think the packaging do, did really well, and they use the real characters' pictures for the packaging, not the products, but the real characters from the movies. And um, a typical size of one six scale, and typical designs. You know all the information on the back of the box. It's an open flap, open flap, paper flap, like this one. Ta -da. Yeah, because of the time we have two figures here, so one is still here in the box. It is, this is what it look like when the figure is in the box. All the all the accessories, weapons, shield, arrows, sword, hands, helmet is presented very organized inside the plastic blister um, and this one yeah this is the I like the most from the movies the whole movies 
It is from the movie poster. This helmet, I like the helmets really, really much. And uh, as, especially during the, the, the R&D process of my, my own products, I, I, we try very, very best. But yeah, I have to go back to Star Ace product, okay? So this helmet is, looks really, really cool. Yeah, and hold nothing back. This might be the, you know, uh, iconic uh, dialogue or speaking of the character inside the movies. Damistocles, okay. So we go to the real figures, the real products. To be, to be fast and efficient, I show the most important part of most collectors, you know, they all focus on the helmet. This is the helmet. Yeah, it's a plastic, it's a plastic made one, but uh, the, the painting and the color and the what what and the battle worn effects um, is pretty cool and pretty well. It's made of PVC, so you could see some elasticity from the helmet. So don't worry, the, the helmet could be put on the head strap. Okay. The paint job is, yeah, satisfied. In my point of view. So it's not bad really. You know, my, my, my requirement is really, really high when I'm doing my own projects. So the paint job is good. Uh, the the better one effect is good. Is is presented. Uh, you know, you know, you, you can see some you know better one effect and some you know the basic appearance, the surface appearance of a bronze helmet. This is not. It is not glossy and it is not you know very clear. So it should be very coarse on the surface. So they did really well. Uh, but the hammer size could be much much better. But anyway, it's already very good when you looking at the the helmet alone. Okay, very good one. Okay, we go to the oh sorry, arrow. The arrow is also plastic. I think most of the yeah every every part of the accessory is plastic. Main many most of them is PVC, not ABS. But this. You know, it's working. Yeah, it is not new, and this is you know, it, we, we should have this function, okay, with an arrow. So we have a bow with a bow and arrow. I'm not sure how many bows including, but this is, I I can see one here. I'm not sure it's one or two arrows, but only I can see one here. And we have another three spare hands, and all the hands have have all the you know. The blood vessels has been painted. Yeah, we can see the blood vessels have been has been painted. Not bad. Yeah, the paint job is 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 quite satisfied in my point of view for Star Ace. Okay, we go to the head scrub. Many people say how well, how the head scrub. It looks you know pretty like the original characters actors in the movies. But I think it could be better. But the paint jobs of the mouth, inside the mouth, the tongue, the teeth, I think it's pretty good. Not bad at all. The quality is good. Uh, the painting of eyes is good. I think uh, if the head scrub is much, much better, I think the overall appearance and performance of this head scrub should be better. And people is asking, yeah. This is not a rubber body, but it's a soft PVC one. So you just like the bands, and we do it a few days ago. Has some soft touch feeling, but this is PVC, soft PVC, but not rubber. Uh, it is it is wiser to use uh, soft PVC because the shape can be maintained and it is easier to produce. And the rubbers, uh, you know, have a lot of uh, I mean I mean several weakness. Uh, when we when we store them or when we play with them or when we when we doing paint jobs, so the paint the painting on the, the painting of the rubber on the rubber body is quite difficult uh, to a certain standard. So if you but we could easily do but we could easily do the paint jobs painting jobs on PVC materials. Okay, oh, oh, some accident. This is my fault. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, after the head, the neck, the neck uh, have some, you know, they have they have an internal structures of articulation. So that means the head can be turned around. Yeah, when, when we are when we are using yelling head scrub, you it it constrain the it constrain the the articulation of the head for sure. But but if we with this internal structure of neck articulation, yeah, the problem is you know it's not a problem. Yeah, so I think it's it's, it's okay. And uh, yeah, as this is a spare PVC PVC figures. You could see all the articulation gap here, but this is for sure. You know, if it's rubber, we cannot do the hands like that because the, the rubber material will constrain the 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 degrees of of, of articulations. But when we're using PVC, we have a uh, as a obvious articulations. We can do a lot of different posture, and you can see the sword. The sorts can be better, but I think uh, it's satisfied quality. Oh, it's rubber. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, it's plastic. Soft PVC and PVC leathers. And uh, the crook have some well worn effect, you know. The cutting, the cutting and the paint jobs and the material is every standard. Not bad one. Okay, uh, and there's a dagger here, and uh, they choose a star is choose a you know a sim more simple and you know cost effective way to do to do this leather skirt. Maybe we may call warrior skirt. It's a actually it's made of leather, made of strong leather from 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 ox or from cow, and to protect the the lower part of the warriors. Uh, but this is PVC and it is one pieces. It could be more complicated, but this is a more cost-effective way to make this. And this is the fabric skirt underneath. Uh, a Greek style or Athenian style Asian skirt. And uh, for the joints of all the ankles and the near, they are not using double joint, so the articulation is not. It's not very very much but if you for post for some you know the battle pose or, or some warrior pose i think it's good enough and this is plastic pvc boots yeah it is a uh, one piece one piece together so the actually they have some articulation here but you know the plastic boots constrain the degree of the movement so this is some shortcomings but anyway, the appearance looks cool, and uh, the figure shape of the whole warrior is not really bad. You know, look really close to the figure shape of the original actors in the movie. Look very close, and they have did some paint jobs, but they make but they can do much better. So something on the nipples. Yeah, now there's no color paint. But anyway, the whole body shape is quite close to the original actors. I forgot his name, sorry. And uh, this is the back size of the figures. Uh, as I am so familiar with this character and this figure, so so I think this time, this episode, I can do a very detailed and professional way of, of uh, uh, examining this figure. But I want to be fair, I don't put it too much. So. I know how to make it better, and I know what is the perfect condition of this one. But Star Ace did a, you know, a good job. And uh, this one surely for a plus plastic pre VC. We call not not underwear, but a long long cloth, long cloth. It's a leather one. Should have better protection for for this part. Yeah, uh, it should be a PVC part. If you do it a pred pre the way. It should be very expensive and, and not you know effective, cost effective and you know functional effective. Okay. Now I, I won't miss the I won't miss the shield. The shield, the color weathering did a really good job here. The details, the back one effect, paint job, good, very good. 
uh, can be can be much better, but it's already above average. And the internal parts of this, you know, the grip. Okay. This part is easy to be disassembled, so but you can just use some simple, uh, you know, glue to glue it back, no problem. But this one is, uh, they can make it, you know, Wickham inside, but but this time they ah, oh, it's Wickham, it's Wickham. But I think actually the 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 shield is is made of wooden in the inner part, and outside part should be made of some copper or bronze. Or, or, or metals but anyway the metal uh, at this time they are, at that time they are using so it should not be a you know like like this fake but anyway this is too much for 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 a a normal uh manu a figure manufacturer but if you uh, you guys for archaeologies or or, or or some historical accurate uh uh lovers they they, they will think that this should be a, you know a, like a like a pen shape yeah not 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 flat here yeah, but I don't know why it's hollow. It looks like they are using vinyl, vinyl plastic. But anyway, the appearance the outlook is no problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, a little bit, a little bit. You know, there's a still some space for them to improve. But anyway, I, I don't spend so much time on making negative comment or you know comments. It's no good for 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 this part and uh this is not my main objective to do a fake talk or stop Toys TV. Toys TV is going to do a some you know positive comments and uh, you know want to promote and you know enhancing the market and uh you know uh, uh enjoying some uh, agglomeration uh, mutual benefits for different brands and different different products. It's not you know competing with each other and we we, we we are we are showing all the weakness of of, of uh manufacturer uh, uh mal malfunction or or, or, discre or discrepancy no no we are just want to promote uh how, what is the uh the, the positive size of the products and how we can make that and how difficult we make that we overcome the difficulties how much effort money on spend on the products it make all our customers more more you know understand what are they buying instead of you know come and come and come and you know nothing is perfect you know uh, no people is perfect and and uh, uh, no product is perfect uh, we are just on a track to be more better much much better so anyway uh, my cameraman is sleeping <laughs> I saw him anyway I will, I will stop it now thank you for watching figure talk see you next time bye bye